కృపావార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము సాక్షి విట్నెస్ నాకును నీకును దేవుడే సాక్షి ఆది కాండము ముప్పై ఒకటవ అధ్యాయము యాభైవ వచనము గాడ్ ఈజ్ విట్నెస్ బిట్వీన్ యూ అండ్ మీ జెనసిస్ చాప్టర్ థర్టీ వన్ వర్స్ ఫిఫ్టీ సాక్ష్యమే చద మన స్వామి సుదేవుడంచు సాక్ష్యమే చద సాక్ష్యమనగనిన వినిన సంగతులను తెలుపుటయ్య సాక్ష్యమనగనిన వినిన సంగతులను తెలుపుటే సాక్ష్యమిచ్చు కొరకు నన్ను రక్షకుండు రక్షించనంచు సాక్ష్యమిచ్చు కొరకు స్వామి నన్ను రక్షించనంచు సాక్ష్యమే చద మన స్వామి సుదేవుడంచు సాక్ష్యమే చద సాక్ష్యమనగనిన వినిన సంగతులను తెలుపుటయే సాక్ష్యమిచ్చు కొరకు నన్ను స్వామి సురక్షించనంచు సాక్ష్యమే చద మన స్వామి సుదేవుడంచు సాక్ష్యమే చద సాక్షి విట్నెస్ నాకును నీకును దేవుడే సాక్షి ఆది కాండము ముప్పై ఒకటవ అధ్యాయము యాభైవ వచనం గాడ్ ఈజ్ విట్నెస్ బిట్వీన్ యూ అండ్ మీ జెనసిస్ చాప్టర్ థర్టీ వన్ వర్స్ ఫిఫ్టీ ప్రియేసు నిర్మించితివి ప్రియమారణ హృదయం ముదమారవసేన హృదయాంతరంగమున నీరక్త ప్రభావమున నా పాప హృదయంబోను పావిత్ర పరచుము తండ్రి ప్రతి పాపమును కడిగి ప్రియేసు నిర్మించితివి ప్రియమారణ హృదయం ముదమారవసి చోన హృదయాంతరంగమున ఆజాగరు కుడనైతి నిజాశ్రయంబును విడచి ఆజాగరు కుడనైతి నిజాశ్రయంబును విడచి ప్రియేసు నిర్మించితివి ప్రియమారణ హృదయం ముదమారవసేన హృదయాంతరంగమున ప్రతి చోట మీ సాక్షిగా ప్రభువానిండునట్లు ఆత్మాభిషేకము నిమ్మో ఆత్మీయ రూపుండ ఆత్మాభిషేకము నిమ్మో ఆత్మీయ రూపుండ ప్రియేసు నిర్మించితివి ప్రియమారణ హృదయం ముదమారవసేన హృదయాంతరంగమున 
ವಿಕಸಿಂಚವೇಸ್ವಾಕ್ಯಾಂಬುನೋಚದಗನೆ ವಿಕಸಿಂಚವೇಸ್ವಾಕ್ಯಾಂಬುನೋಚದಗನೆ ಚೇರೀತಿ ನಿಧೂದಾರಿ ಕೋರಿ ನಡಿ ಪಿಂಚು ಮೋಚೇರೀತಿ ನೀದು ದಾರಿ ಕೋರಿ ನಡಿ ಪಿಂಚು ಮೋ ಪ್ರಿಯೇಸು ನಿರ್ಮಿಶಿತಿವಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮಾರನ ಹೃದಯ ಮುದ ಮಾರವಸಿಂಚೂನ ಹೃದಯಾಂತರಂಗ ಮುನ ಆಜಾಗರು ಕೂಡನೈತಿ ನಿಜಾಶ್ರಯಂಬುನು ವಿಡಚಿ ಕರುಣಾರಸಮುತೋನ ಕೈ ಕನಿ ಪೇಟಿತಿ ವಿತನ್ರಿ ಕರುಣಾರಸಮುತ ನಾ ಕೈ ಕನಿ ಪೇಟಿತಿ ವಿತನ್ರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯೇಸು ನಿರ್ಮಿಂಚಿತಿವಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮಾರನ ಹೃದಯ ಮುದ ಮಾರವಸಿಂಚೂನ ಹೃದಯಾಂತರಂಗ ಮುನ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ನಾಕುನು ನೀಕುನು ಮಧ್ಯ ದೇವುಡೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಆದಿಕಾಂಡಮು ಉಪಯುಕ್ತವ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯಮು ಯಾಭಯ ವಚನ God is witness between you and me. Genesis chapter 31 verse 15 Hello ye, hello ye, Ennai kandire nandri ayya, Ennai kandire nandri ayya, Aradhana, 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 Yabine zare, Yabine zare, Edo arayil udavinire, Edo arayil udavinire, Aradhana, Aradhana, ಸುಗಂತಂದಿರೇ ನನ್ರಿಯ ಸುಗಂತಂದಿರೇ ನನ್ರಿಯ ಆರಾಧನ 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 ಹೇಗೋನಿಸಿ ಹೇಗೋನಿಸಿ ಜಯಂತಂದಿರೇ ನನ್ರಿಯ ಜಯಂತಂದಿರೇ ನನ್ರಿಯ ಆರಾಧನ 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 ಅನ್ಬು ಕೋರ್ವೇ ನಿನ್ನು ಅಧಿಗಮಾಯ್ ಆರಾಧಿಪೇ ನಿನ್ನು ಆರ್ಭಮಾಯ್ ಆರಾಧನ 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 ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ನಾಕುನು ನೀಕುನು ಮಧ್ಯ ದೇವುಡೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಆದಿಕಾಂಡಮು ಮುಪ್ಪೈ ಒಕಟವ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯಮು ಯಾಭಯ ವಚನ ಗೋಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೀ ಜೆನಿಸಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ದ ಫೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ವೆಪನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾರ್ ಯಹೋ ಎಂದು ಭಯಭಕ್ತಲು ಕಲಿಗಿ ಉಂಡುಟ ಆ ಜ್ಞಾನಮನಕು ಮೂಲಮೋ 
అయోధ్యాయుధం కంటే జ్ఞానము శ్రేష్టమైనది యహో అయిందో భయభక్తులు కలిగి ఉంటే ఆ జ్ఞానమునకు మూలము యహో అనే పేరు అపరిచితముగా ఉన్నదే క్రొత్త పేరుగా ఉన్నదే అని క్రొత్తగా స్వార్థ వింటున్నటువంటి వారు మొదటిసారిగా రక్షణ స్వార్థ వింటున్నటువంటి వారు ఆశ్చర్యపడవచ్చు ఏమిటి పేరు యహో అంటే ఎవరు యహో అంటే ఏమిటి అనేకమైనటువంటి ప్రశ్నలు ఉద్భవిస్తాయి యహోవా అనే పదానికి అర్థం యావే అనే పదానికి అర్థం స్వయంభావుడు సెల్ఫ్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ గాడ్ స్వయంభావుడు తనకు తానుగా జీవము కలిగినటువంటి వాడు తనంతటి తాను జీవించేవాడు యహోవా యావే హెబ్రు భాషలో యావే తెలుగు భాషలోనికి యహోవా అని అనువదించబడింది ఈ యావే యహోవా ఎవరు అంటే అబ్రహాము దేవుడు నాహోరు దేవుడు అబ్రహాం యొక్క పితృల దేవుడు ఇస్సాకు దేవుడు యాకోబు దేవుడు భూమిని ఆకాశాన్ని సృష్టించినటువంటి దేవుడు మానవులను తన పోలికలో తన స్వరూపంలో సృజించినటువంటి దేవుడు తరతరాలలో యుగ యుగాలలో జగ జగాలలో దేవుడు దేవుడు ఏసే దేవుడు 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 ఏసే దేవుడు పకమును పో నరునికి రూపులేన పొడు దేవుడు దేవుడు ఏసే దేవుడు 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 ఏసే దేవుడు భూమికి పునాదిలేనప్పుడు పార్వతములు పొట్టకమును పో నరునికి రూపు లేనప్పుడు దేవుడు దేవుడు ఏసే దేవుడు ఆ సృష్టికి శిల్పకారుడు జగతికి ఆది దేవుడు 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 ఏసే దేవుడు 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 ఏసే దేవుడు సృష్టికి శిల్పకారుడు జగతికి ఆది దేవుడు 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 ఏసే దేవుడు ఒకటై ఉన్న రూపము దేవుడు దేవుడు ఏసే దేవుడు ఆ
యావే స్వయంభావుడు సెల్ఫ్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ గాడ్ యహోవా కాబట్టి యహోవా అనేది క్రొత్త పేరు కాదు స్వయంభావుడు తనకు తానుగా జీవించు దేవుడు ఎవరు ఎవరు ఈ దేవుడు అన్న ఆలోచన మానవులు కలిగి ఉండాలి భూలోకంలో మానవులకి సమయం ఎందుకు ఇవ్వబడింది దేవుణ్ణి వెతికి కనుక్కొనడానికి తదుపరి దేవుణ్ణి కనుగొన్న తర్వాత వెంటనే దేవుడు మానవుల కొరకు సిద్ధపరిచినటువంటి ఆ పరలోకంలోనికి ప్రవేశించడానికి దేవుని పక్షంగా నమ్మకత్వాన్ని చాటిపుచ్చుకోవడానికి సమయం మానవులకి ఇవ్వబడింది టు ప్రూవ్ అవర్ ఎలీజియస్ విత్ గాడ్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ హూ గాడ్ ఈస్ దిస్ టైమ్ on the planet earth is given to each one of us we are on this planet earth with a specific purpose what we have to do is we have to find out the god who has made us on the contrary man is deceived by the ancient serpent man is deceived by the enemy of mankind man is deceived by the satan the devil the head of the demonic forces so man is misled in his quest for finding god rather than finding the god that has made him man has made god for himself man has made sun as a god moon as a god what not everything is god to man that is abusing god that will not lead man to his eternal home our stay on the planet earth is temporary our stay on the planet earth is temporary each one of us has to face death because the wages of sin is death for everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of god as a result of sin death is reigning over all the inhabitants of the earth all men begotten of women have to face death isn't it is it not true is death not true can anybody deny is there any single person that have never seen death yes there are only two people that have never seen death only two men that have never seen death in the course of human history one is enoch hanoch and the other is elisa these two faithful believers of god were so blessed by god granted special privilege granted special exception special grace by god himself that they escaped death sin had no power on them enoch and uh, elisa these are the two believers of god in the history of mankind that have never seen death except these two everyone has to face death everyone have faced death fortunately because god is compassionate god has made an atonement to forgive the sins of mankind to forgive the sin disobedience of man and to make an atonement for the sins of mankind that is causing death to the soul eternal separation of the soul from god <coughs> and the work of salvation of god is god the invisible god yahweh the self existing god the god that has created man in the in his own image in his own likeness in his own form the god of abraham the god of nahor the god of the ancestors of abraham the god of isaac the god of jacob what god has done is out of his love for man that has gone astray that has closed his ears to the voice of god that has closed his eyes that has developed a kind of indifference to see god as a result god became invisible who has 
hide him who has hid himself did god hide himself from man or man it is man it is man that has hidden himself behind the tree in the garden of eden there is no problem at all in the garden of eden when god created uh, the garden the garden is peaceful and man adam was given authority given power over all the handwork of god every creature every thing that has life in it will obey you will be subject to you you will rule over in my place what god has hidden god has not hidden anything god has given everything to man because man is after all the child of god all human beings irrespective of the differences that have cropped up in the course of history we are christians we are hindus we are muslims we are jains we are buddhists so many differences isn't it we are english we are chinese we are indian so many differences isn't it in the beginning there is no such demarcation there is no such distinction there are no such differences all human race has come from one man called adam through the disobedience of adam through the sin of adam and eve death reigned over all all men whether it is chinese whether it is indian whether it is english whether it is american everyone has to die one day or other isn't it in the beginning there was no death until and unless adam sinned adam has gone away rebelling against the word of god there has been no death at all there has been no sorrow there has been no agony there has been no question of scarcity there has never been requirement of garments isn't it will a child know that uh, the child is naked isn't it no how the shame has come how the knowledge of good and evil has come when adam has disobeyed the word of god when adam and eve has consumed the forbidden fruit shame has come the knowledge of evil and good has come as a result what a disaster what a disaster everything everything disastrous has come out of uh, the act of disobedience to the word of god the desire of flesh the desire of eye the pride of life jesus christ has summarized all the things that are existing in the world what is the world filled with in one sentence all the world is filled with desires of flesh desires of eye and pride of life this is what the world contained this is what is existing in every heart ever since a man has fallen to redeem man of the consequences of sin to redeem man of the sinful nature god has to take the form of a person called jesus christ born of virgin mary born not through natural sexual relationship between man and woman but through divine means through holy spirit mary was conceived and begotten jesus christ the son of god the last adam the birth of jesus christ itself is marvelous amazing wonder wonderful mysterious mysterious to understand even advanced medical science cannot explain how a virgin can give birth to a child without knowing man this is miracle isn't it such miracles are natural all through the bible we see all such all through the 66 books of the bible such wonderful things such miraculous things such marvels marvelous things is there anything impossible to god this is the way god has chosen to make atonement for the sins of man can god himself the giver of law the author of law has to give his life until and unless his blood is shed the law will remain the law will have power on man until and unless the law giver is slain the law cannot be altered as long as the giver of law is existing so the giver of law god himself has to take the form of man and 
offer himself as a forgiveness for the sins of mankind offer himself as an atonement for the sins of mankind this mystery is great to understand difficult to understand but through the self offering of god in the form of jesus christ by bearing all the iniquities of man the law is abolished now law has become powerless now death has become powerless the sting of death is broken as soon as all the sins of mankind were transferred onto the sinless lamb he who knew no sin was made a sin for us this is the mystery of salvation this is the secret of salvation this is the way we can attain forgiveness for our sins and get qualified to inherit the lost paradise paradise is lost paradise is lost one once for all the moment adam and eve have sinned by consuming the forbidden fruit what god has done is god has made clothes garments of our skin and the skin garments were given to adam and eve and they were sent out with a curse because god could not curse adam created in the image of god because adam is created in the image of god god could not curse adam adam is after all the child of god so what god did is adam being my son being my child being created in my own form being created in my own likeness being created in my own image in my likeness god made man in his likeness can we attribute godliness to idols lifeless mute objects can the mute lifeless objects speak as god speaks does this mute idols made of man have mouth to speak eyes to see ears to hear no this attribution of godliness to lifeless objects is abusing god is provoking god to anger provoking god to wrath all through the history we see idol worship provoking god to anger idol worship pleases demons devils because when the glory that is due to god is transferred to the created objects the one that is joyful and rejoicing is the enemy of man the enemy of god satan will be rejoicing so my dear little children turn away from idols do not go to idols idols are an abomination behind each idol there will be an unclean spirit there will be a demonic force present existing by the way how the uh, witchcraft practitioners black magic practitioners do all this witchcraft and black magic will they not have the idols with them why are why is man so ignorant why is so man so blind having eyes and not able to see having ears and not able to hear having mouth and not able to speak what for the time whether it is 60 years or 70 years nowadays because of this uh, advancement of science any virus can be created and any mutations can be attributed to a virus a virus with so many mutations can be generated in virology laboratories and uh, such viruses can be made to escape intentionally out of the laboratory to cause disaster to cause much uh, loss of life why it's so simple absence of fear of god science is god to me knowledge is god to me wisdom is god to me why my weapons is god to me my might is god to me my riches are god to me my materials are god to me isn't it what is the today's slogan of the world might is right i have 3000 nuclear weapons i can uh, uh, export uh, so much nuclear technology to any nation i can export uh, uh, yes 400 missiles as 500 missiles to any other nations all through the world so i will dictate terms to the world might is right what has happened to ussr ussr is not existing isn't it should usa not learn from what has happened in ussr should china not learn from what has happened in ussr is the current russia should not learn from ussr what has happened to ussr not by strength not by might i will do it with my spirit 
one of the greatest uh, statesmen that uh, the history has ever seen is winston churchill to a question is extraterrestrial life existing this is the question a journalist asks winston churchill is there extra terrestrial life is there life outside the planet earth the answer is assertive yes indeed existing whether winston churchill has personally encountered such a visitations of extraterrestrial beings celestial beings or he has some kind of knowledge information on such on the existence of such extraterrestrial life but the answer is unambiguously assertive yes how could such a, how could winston churchill stand before such evil forces during world war 2 and roar like a lion yo da gotra pusimha maina ye saiya mananda yuddhamo yeho vade yuddhamo yeho vade yar samudra mo yaduraina yar ka godalu addu vachina ಅದ್ಭುತ ದೇವುಡು ಮನ ಕುಂಡ ಭಯ ಮೇಲ ಮನ ಕಿಂಕ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೋಯ ಹೋವಾದೆ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೋಯ ಹೋವಾದೆ ವ್ಯಾಧಲು ಮನಲನು ಪಡದ್ರೋಸಿನ ಬಾಧಲು ಮನಲನು ಕೃಂಗದಿಸಿನ ವೇ ಸ್ವಾಸಮುನಕು ಕರ್ತಯನ ಯೇ ಸೈಯ ಮನಂಡ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೋಯ ಹೋವಾದೆ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೋಯ ಹೋವಾದೆ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೋಯ ಹೋವಾದೆ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೋಯ ಹೋವಾದೆ ಶೋಧ ಕುಡೈನ ಪವಾದಿ ಗಾರ್ಜಿಂಚು ಸಿಂಹಮಲೆ ವಚಿನ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಮುನಕು ಕರ್ತಯನ ಯೇ ಸೈಯ ಮನಂಡ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೋಯ ಹೋವಾದೆ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೋಯ ಹೋವಾದೆ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿನ್ಸ್ಟನ್ ಚರ್ಚಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ವಿನ್ಸ್ಟನ್ ಚರ್ಚಿಲ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೂ ದ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಹಿ ಕುಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಎನಿಮಿ ದ ಸೇಟನ್ ದ ಡೆವಿಲ್ your adversary the devil is roaring like a lion whom to devour whom to destruct so to face the adversary to face the satan to face the invisible multitude of enemy hosts so many countless force are waging a war on humanity especially on each of us so how to gain victory in the battles that each one of us face daily so many problems isn't it so many complications pandemic the preacher himself has been a victim to coronavirus attack through the intervention of evil people intentionally coronavirus 30 days and nights no sleep the preacher had his hair cut with a, a hair uh, uh, cutting machine that was uh, bought in china and from china after denying boarding pass twice again a stall arts the preacher safely lands in chennai all through the travel from shanghai pudong airport to chennai airport his baggage contained the hair cutting machine nobody knows what has uh, been uh, existing in the hair cutting machine how the hair cutting machine has been manipulated we are living in perilous times the advancement of science and technology is so great and unfortunately uh, this advancements of science and technology have fallen in the hands of evil wicked people same is the case with nuclear technology how many nuclear weapons are there in insecure 
under insecure conditions all through uh, from pudong airport to chennai airport uh, the luggage the baggage has gone through many many hands it has shifted the hair dressing machine might have been uh, poisoned or infected with the uh, foreign microorganisms when the preacher has had his hair cut on uh, august uh, fourth or during the first month of august 30 days and nights severe complete insomnia insomnia is one of the comorbidities of attack by covid virus this could be one of the hypothesis this is one of the possibilities other possibilities also do exist the preacher has been a compassionate by listening to the message of jesus christ in saint luke chapter 10 good samaritan message good samaritan what does the good samaritan do when he sees a person robbed by thieves in unconscious state in a state of dying breathing his last the good samaritan goes and helps so as a christian the preacher could not move forward whenever he sees a person that is unclean untidy wounded sick in need of help so the preacher happened to help many people on streets without food without proper clothing with unclean untidy clothes in poverty one of the persons uh, happened to have very unclean clothes through that person intentionally from a famous medical practitioners the virus could have been transmitted to the preacher this is another possibility numerous possibilities exist god is witness between you and me why all these things are happening why so many heaps of dead bodies Delhi has become a graveyard Uttar Pradesh has become a graveyard so much sorrow so much agony uncontrolled uncontrollable circumstances scarcity of oxygen cylinders even those uh, helpless patients when they are admitted in the hospital there is severe uh, shortages of oxygen supply and uh, even in a hospitals there is no security of life there are uh, uh, short circuits and uh, because of electricity short circuit there has been much loss of life electric shocks don't we see so much loss of life so much agony where is security where is compassion where is fear of god where is love where is care where is peace where is harmony this world has really become a hell on earth isn't it why why because man has lost his glory man has lost the control nuclear fusion process is good so long as it is controllable when the nuclear fusion process becomes uncontrollable we see disasters like uh, the disasters that has happened in chernobyl what a disaster what a disaster likewise the reins have been transferred from man to satan this is the starting point of disaster man has already lost control man has transferred the glory man has transferred the authority that has been given to him by god to satan is this true did god say that you should not eat the fruit of any of the trees in the garden yes god has told that we should not touch so and so fruit such and such a tree the moment we touch the moment we eat we will die you will not die Satan is a liar. Don't we see every man's mouth is filled with so many lies. From dawn to dusk we are accustomed to speak lies. We are accustomed, not we. The preacher by the grace of God was granted grace to call a spade a spade. That is why he is jobless. Continuously applying for job for past years. eight years or nine years in a land uh, that post that that is founded on satya and uh, denied of opportunity doesn't matter 
growth comes from the hands of the lord isn't it those that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength after all the upliftment after all the growth is from the hands of god the people of uh, the children of jacob were oppressed for 400 years pharaoh potiphar has imprisoned joseph by listening to what his wife has told whatever his wife has uh, said is gospel truth to potiphar potiphar to potiphar his wife is holy cow and uh, joseph is a characterless person ill treating his wife what a story fabricated story should potiphar not have wisdom should he not judge according to his conscience if at all he do not have the witness where is the witness without uh, having any witness joseph was illegally imprisoned because i have power i can do anything and everything because i am a pseudo professor with 1700 publications 500 publications 800 publications i can put fir on anyone and i can put anyone in imprisonment this is the sad story state of fir prevailing in this fallen broken world what does this say this speak volume volumes that these people were caught hold of demonic forces unclean spirits devil has already taken hold of them how can you be sure how can you make such claims because the moment you speak a lie you are in the captivity of satan devil no well person will ever speak lie no good tree will ever yield bad fruit call a spade a spade if a tree yields a good fruit nobody will say that the tree is bad because the tree is yielding bad fruit the tree is called bad why should you get offended when you have so much lies in your mouth Satan has taken hold of you bend your ways otherwise your destiny is the destiny of satan only the destiny of satan is hell outside outside heaven dogs sorcerers people with lying lips poor mongers all these people will be denied entry into heaven heaven is a place heaven is a city heaven is a home not like fleeting home as we see on planet earth we are just pilgrims our stay on the planet earth is only transient our permanent home is in heaven who has seen heaven without seeing how can you say of course the preacher has not seen heaven the bible is loud and clear regarding the existence of heaven who has come from heaven who has gone to heaven it is the invisible god that has taken the form of flesh and blood the word of god that took the form of flesh and blood and made its dwelling amidst us it is jesus christ that has come from heaven and spoken volumes regarding heaven repent the kingdom of heaven is at hand repent the kingdom of god is at hand if there is nothing like the kingdom of god if there is nothing like kingdom of heaven jesus christ should not start his ministry with this word repent the kingdom of god is at hand repent the kingdom of heaven is at hand this is the starting opening remark when jesus christ started his mission missionary work his ministry his gospel preaching as we see in mark matthew chapter 3 witness thou shall not bear false witness thou shall not speak false witness i will speak false witness i will speak only lies sakshilana pravesh vetudi let the witnesses give their witness pseudo courts kangaru courts in the book of pilgrims progress there is a fair called vanity fair unfortunately this vanity fair is held on the highway between the city that is bound to destruction from where the christian happens to start his pilgrimage to the celestial city zion and this uh, vanity fair is on the highway that leads to the celestial city zion everyone that has to travel from this world to the other world has to must travel through this vanity fair this vanity fair is held unfortunately 
on the highway that is leading to the king's palace king's house celestial city zion and this vanity fair is uh, no single day affair this is 365 days affair all 360 days this vanity fair is active here in this vanity fair the famous italian uh, row is there the famous uh, german row is there the famous uh, britain row is there unfortunately john bunyan has uh, somehow forgotten the famous indian row the famous chinese row these two uh, also should be included in the vanity fair these are no exception we sell many things we sell blood we sell slaves we sell people everything we sell the chinese row also has to be included and the indian row has also to be included in the vanity fair somehow pilgrims progress book john bunyan overlooked this uh, famous indian row and chinese row and in the vanity fair the poor pilgrims the christian the hopeful and the faithful are put to test the hopeful was burnt to ashes alive because of his testimony you must buy something in the vanity fair otherwise we will not give you away poniyana ladaina poniyana ladaina poniyana ladaina i will not let go how will i let you go you are my slaves do you think that i am a fool that i will let you go i will not let you go poniyana ladaina poniyana ladaina poniyana ladaina not let go not let go not let go aro radhamula senalano tana shreshta dhipatulano yara samudramulona munche vesene hova yodha surude hova ma balamo ma ganamo ma pitarola devodo ayana peru kangaroo court in the vanity fair there has been a pseudo court established to try the christian the faithful and the hopeful that are on their journey on their pilgrimage to the celestial city and the pseudo judge asks let the witnesses bear their testimony and pseudo witnesses false witnesses with lying lips comes and tells all all sorts of lies these people have turned the market upside down these people have caused much disturbance in the fair disturbance in the vanity fair who has caused the disturbance silently the christian the hopeful the faithful are traveling on their pilgrimage these are the saintly people not causing any disturbance yet yet they were caught hold lawless mob have caught hold of them and beaten them badly you must buy something you must buy something from our product you must sign the 
ट्रेड डील इफ यू डू नॉट बाई आवर मिसाइल्स इफ यू डू नॉट बाई आवर बैटरी सिस्टम्स इफ यू डू नॉट बाई आवर प्रोडक्ट्स वी विल नॉट लेट यू गो यू शुड साइन द ट्रेड डील यू शुड बाई मिसाइल्स फ्रॉम अस यू शुड बाई वेपनरी फ्रॉम अस यू शुड बाई द चॉपर्स वी वी आई पी चॉपर्स फ्रॉम अस you should buy the nuclear technology from us you you should buy the nuclear reactors from us otherwise we will impose sanctions on you so many restrictions isn't it what is this nonsense thou shall love your neighbor as you love yourself you yourself have been a slave in egypt under pharaoh's oppression for 400 years so you have learnt how to treat your neighbor you should sign the trade deal you should buy my nuclear technology you should buy my weaponry you should do this why do you impose so many restrictions why do you oppress your neighbor i have might i have military power i have so much uh, weaponry i have to dispose my weaponry so i will impose uh, sanctions i will uh, impose uh, restrictions on any nation and every nation disaster loss of peace loss of harmony you must buy something what will you buy tell us we buy the truth what is truth very strange all through our vanity fair even though this vanity fair is uh, present for 365 days there has never been a product that is sold here like truth we do not know what truth is knowing fully well that we are not of truth knowing fully well that there is no truth in our mouth how dare you to ask for truth all of the vanity fair turned against uh, the christian the hopeful the faithful so many false witnesses have pronounced false witnesses bear false witness and the hopeful is burned to ashes in the heaven in the kingdom of heaven if there is any crown more precious that is martyrdom the crown of martyrdom is the greatest of the crowns that is present in heaven holy uh, this uh, hopeful on his journey to the celestial city was martyred entered directly without facing any of the hurdles ahead directly from the vanity fair the hopeful entered and landed in the celestial city somehow by the grace of god the christian and the faithful escaped the vanity fair this vanity fair we have to pass through but we have to escape this vanity fair this is possible only by the grace of god this world is a vanity fair vyadhamo sarva mono ilalo vyadhamo sarva mono telupu mona yuyanto telupu mo yantal pudano veriginalige unnano nenu veriginalige unnano na guri nevena prabhuva na guri nevena prabhuva witness సాక్షి నాకును నీకును దేవుడే సాక్షి నాకు మ నాకు మ నాకు నీకు మధ్య దేవుడే సాక్షి గాడ్ ఈజ్ విట్నెస్ బిట్వీన్ యూ అండ్ మీ హూ ఈస్ టెలింగ్ దిస్ లాబాన్ ద ఫాదర్ ఇన్ లా ఆఫ్ జాకబ్ ఈస్ టెలింగ్ జాకబ్ లాబాన్ వాంట్ టు డూ హా మచ్ వయలెన్స్ జాకబ్ లాబాన్ వాంట్ టు ఇన్ఫ్లిక్ట్ అపాన్ వయలెన్స్ అపాన్ జాకబ్ ఎట్ on the preceding night laban in his dream was warned by god the god of abraham the god of nahor the god of the ancestors of abraham the god of isaac has warned laban be careful you should not speak either good or bad to my servant you should speak neither good nor bad you should not speak you should not speak either good or bad you should speak neither good nor bad to my servant jacob he is my anointed servant he is my son because god intervened and warned laban 
that Laban should speak neither true neither good nor bad to Jacob Laban did not harm Jacob I can do harm to you but the preceding night the god of Abraham the god of Nahor god of father of Abraham ancestors of Abraham the god of Isaac has appeared in my dream and warned me that I should speak neither good nor bad to you that is why i am not uh, causing any harm to you if you desire to go to your father's house if you desire to go to your birthplace you should have gone why at all you have robbed why at all you have stealed my stolen my idols am i worshiping idols have i put demons have i put devils to worship i worship the god of abraham i worship the god that isaac has feared the god of abraham is my god the god of isaac is my god i do not worship idols i have nothing to do with idols what grain has to do with chaff what grain has to do with chaff you have your idols with you why do you accuse me why do you blame me i have nothing to do with your idols i have not stolen i have not brought anything from your household one lawfer others daughters and one lawfer his own daughter one lawfer his sons and another lawfer his son in law don't we see pseudo lawmans all through the world the preacher is no exception so many pseudo cases so many false cases because of pseudo laban pseudo relative pseudo father in law pseudo father in law you should speak neither good nor bad to my servant jacob be careful it is very dangerous to fall in the hand of god god has intervened there is no fear of god in this evil people that is why their mouth is filled with so many lies so many false cases so many false accusations turning light to darkness and darkness to light why absence of fear of god what is your end destruction is your end disaster is your end sickness is your end hell is your end why do we see so many court cases why do we see so many prisons filled with the prisoners absence of fear of god here we see laban and jacob both fearing god so the conflict is solved the moment god appeared to laban and warned you should speak neither good nor bad to my servant La- uh, jacob laban humbled himself Laban feared God where is such fear where is such fear in the pseudo fathers in law these days pestering their sons in law oh dowry dowry is illegal i will not give a penny well if you do not give a penny of dowry how can you ask your son in law regarding his salary and regarding his expenses shameless people unjust people for giving dowry you show law and legality for asking your son in law salary for claiming he your son in law salary it is not illegal because there is no such law your son in law has to freely give flight uh, travels to your uh, daughter visa to your daughter and uh, endless list shameless people unthankful people ungrateful people god, god fear is absence in these people pseudo lawbans are existing everywhere and ev- anywhere all around us why because we are reading the last chronicles of planet earth it is as simple as that pseudo professor pseudo bureaucrat pseudo judges fit for nothing people isn't it no offense we are reading the last chronicles of planet earth that is why we see so much disaster everywhere so many people with lying lips the fear of god is absent god is non existing god is not present at all this heap of stones called yagar shahaduta is witness these rocks will witness between you and me this pillar galedu 
will witness between you and me god himself all knowing god all seeing god omnipotent god omniscient god will witness between you and me if there is fear of god if there is no false testimonies if people do not bear false testimony why do we see so many cases pending in courts the conflict is resolved between uh, lama and jacob because of the fear of god god appeared to me yesterday in my dream and warned me that i should speak neither good nor bad to you this heap of rocks is a witness yagar sahaduta that place is called yagar sahaduta that place is called by jacob as galedu laban called that place as yagar sahaduta witness sakshi conflict is resolved by the fear of god by the presence of god many conflicts are not resolved today because of the absence of fear of god god is going to come as a judge jesus christ is going to arrive as a judge as the shepherd separates sheep from the flock from goats likewise the righteous are separated from the sinners this is the opportunity given 2000 years of grace for repentance for the sinners to get converted to righteous people the moment a person believes and accepts jesus christ as his personal savior all his sins are atoned for and he will be adding to the list of righteous people should you forego such a privilege by believing in jesus christ and converting and repenting may the lord grant the fear of god in the hearts of all the audience in the name of my lord and savior jesus christ i pray amen